What's going on guys? Today we are playing Madness Subscriber League. We are showing off the last couple of subscribers we have yet to show off, which is the Vikings and the Cowboys. We haven't shown them off yet. And yeah, we are live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. I'm starting the video off like this because I forgot to start it off on like, you know, the actual menu. So yeah. But before we actually start the game, we're going to show it off. We're facing on against Baker Mayfield's Falcons. And right now, um, the running back, Zolia Vuitton, number 30. Keep that in mind. And middle linebacker, the Litz. He is number, he's number 58, so we're going to keep that in mind too. So remember, the Vikings, they're facing on against the Falcons today. And the Steelers are facing on against the Cowboys. So, yeah, this we're supposed to have some pretty fun matchups. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how Zolio Vuitton does. And then after that, I can show off how, whatever games I like to show off. As right now, Zolio Vuitton gonna start it off. Right here. Notable inactivities. Um, their quarterback and wide receiver is basically out. The Falcons, they they were doing pretty decent this season. Nothing too extraordinary, but nothing too bad. Right now, gonna run this in with not Zolio Vuitton. Damn, why aren't you running in with the rookie, Zolio Vuitton? Right now, oh, they're gonna throw it in. Oh, except never mind. They decided to throw it. Except you wanna know why that didn't work? Because the man. Alright, we're kind of just gonna. Just kind of, kind of, basically. Alright. Oh. Alright, so basically, right, right now, we're just. We would show off the lids, but you know, not really. Nah. Because, like, there's not really any subscribers on the Falcons, plus. If the list is barely going to do any action, then there's really no point in watching it. So right now, we're going to basically show off how Zolio Baton is going to do. Maybe even their quarterback, Billy Burns, could be the greatest thing of all time. Never mind. They had the rush, except this time didn't work. Right now, gonna Billy Burns gonna pass it off to his wide receiver. Look at that. Alright, Pittsburgh versus Dallas. That's the matchup we're showing off. Now, uh, if we check from the standings. Oh, he actually catches that. That's a good pass. If we check from the standings, the Falcons, they were doing pretty decent. They're like in the middle of the division. The Vikings, though. They the Packers they're eight and four, no they're eight and two I think. While the Vikings, Bears, and Lions are all tied in their division second, all of that six wins. So the Vikings they really can't screw up right here, if you ask me. Right now, he's gonna throw it into no one. Second and ten. Oh, this time I'm gonna throw it in and breaks off a tackle. Except he couldn't break off that one. Come on, Zolio, where are you? So right now, gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna pass it off to his running back and he's wide open. Except that wasn't Zolio Vuitton, unfortunately. Right now, I'm gonna run this off. Where is Zolio? Bro, where is Zolio Vuitton? Where is Zolio Vuitton? There he is. Stop using Terrell Bowers. He's. Just use Vitton, like come on. What's wrong with using Vitton? Alright, we're gonna simulate. Oh shoot. 
Oh yeah, I forgot, they got the first. Oh, and this time they're gonna use a jet sweep. Oh yeah, I forgot. Alright, just running in with Vuitton. Right now. Oh, you should have ran it in with Vuitton, man. Like, come on. Alright, the Vikings, they kicked in that field goal. Oh, that's a that's a good pass. Zazolio, where is Vuitton? Like, I'm wondering. Oh, damn, that was a. So, right now it's 7 to 6, as it's now going to be 13, 14 to 6. So finally, Vuitton's back. Damn, where was Vuitton? So, right now, he's just going to watch it go from 21 to 6. Finally, Vuitton's back. Finally. So, let's watch. I've been waiting for Vuitton for a while. Right now, I'm going to pass it in. Damn. Right now. Oh, running it in. Oh, crosses him up. And that's going to be a flag. And why wasn't that Vuitton? Damn. Oh wow. Oh, he was wide open. Can the Vikings pull off a comeback? I mean, they are facing the Atlanta Falcons. They are known for blowing leads, if you know what I mean. Well, every one of y'all know what I mean. Like, come on. It's 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 the famous 28 to 3. Come on. All right, and that's going to be the end of the quarter. So right now, the Vikings, they have the ball. They have it in. They're going to throw it in. And why were you running backwards? But hey, first and goal. Burns passes it in for a touchdown. Look at that. Damn, his first receiving touchdown. Right now, oh, oh, they punted it. They're at the five yard line. Wait, yes. This could be big. This could be small. This could literally be literally pointless. Running it off with Vuitton. Azolio Vuitton just having a bad game. As right now we at the three yard line. Right now. Oh, Vuitton. Why isn't that Vuitton? Right now. Oh, throwing it in. Oh. Oh, first and ten. Right now, he has the ball. He has it in, and this time he's going to get sacked. Damn. All the Vikings need to do is just get a touchdown on that two-point conversion. Unless he's going to throw it. Was he throwing? Was he intending to pick it off? Like, was he intending, was he wanting that to get picked off? Like, come on. 
So we all know they are not going to run it with Zolio Baton, but are they actually going to pass it in like a normal human being? Oh, they're running it in! That's not Vitan, you actual buffoons! I literally have Vitan starting, and yet they ain't playing him! Oh, wait. Oh, they actually try to go for it? My god. This game is over, whether you like it or not. It's done! The Vikings take an, L, take an L. They did not need it for that L, except that's what that's what they deserve after not, you know, going going for it with Vuitton most of the time. Wow. Wow, that's that, that's just an L by the Minnesota Vikings themselves. So let's just look at this. Oh wait, no, I don't want to look at the scoring the scoring summary. What the hell? All right, player stats: Sylvia Vuitton rushed for ten yards, worst game of his career. And defense on the Vikings. Mr. The Litz had does not have a interception. He did he did get a tackle for loss and he does have a couple tackles to his name. So that's fun. Let's get to the next game. Probably the final game of the episode, the Steelers versus Cowboys. And now with our final game of the video, it is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Versus the Dallas Cowboys. Look at that. We are. It's prime time. It's a prime time game. These are rivalries, and they have to settle it out in Madden. We are live in AT and T Stadium. We we are live in AT and T Stadium, as the Dallas Cowboys are going to be facing on against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now. What may, now, what makes some rivalries in the first place? Well, the Steelers and Cowboys actually faced on in three Super Bowls. Yes, three. The first two, the Steelers actually took the W. And then the, late, and then the last one, which was the latest one in 1996, it was when the Cowboys took the dubs. Well, hey, at, hey the rivalries now. And now, look at this. They are here. The an entire field is set for action right here. Everyone's hyped. Right now, we are fo guess we focus on this running back, Daniel Dockery. Why not? Fuck it. W why not? <laughs> but anyway, before we start off today's game, I have to I have to show off everyone. Come on. All right. So we already know Coin Cal and all right. We are Lance Spencer, number ten. All right, and 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 if he gets injured, then we got Josh Frozen. You know, you know the one. Oh wait, no one's on running back. No one's on fullback, wide receiver. So keep in mind, Coin Collar's 82 and Luke Crown's number 28. Just keep that in mind. And now, and also for cornerback, if y'all care about that, we also got Carlos Boozer as number 5. But for the Cowboys, they only have one subscriber on that team. And if I could just get to it, it is voiced on number 15. Keep that in mind. So right now, we are going to fast forward it. As this kick will be returned by a guy named Larry Clemens. Sure, why not? Fuck it. But right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they are here live. They will start it off with their running back right here. Their running back is actually number two in the league. So, if they run it in, don't be surprised. But Lance Spencer, he's also doing pretty good. Because they're going to run it in with a running back who's breaking off multiple tackles like he's goddamn Marshawn Lynch. He's also leading the league in broken tackles, I think. So, no wonder. They're going to run it in again? Oh, actually going to pass it on to Luke Crown. Oh, and that's going to be a face mask. Remember, both of these guys, they need wins. Pittsburgh, they're number two in, the, they're number two in their division. So, everyone, they're going to need every win in order to at least maybe either sneak in a dub... Or go to the wild card. Meanwhile, the cow, them Cowboys, they're seven and three, but they're not even leading the division as the Giants are nine and one. So they're gonna need the Giants to lose a bit more, so the Cowboys can take the division, or they can also take a wild card, probably as a number three seed. Right now. Seems like they love running it in with their running back. I don't blame them. The running back's pretty OP. Except for that part right there. I don't know what he was doing. 
Right now, what will they do right here? This is a pretty tough decision from the Steelers. Lance Spencer gonna throw it in to Luke Crown himself. Wow. Luke Crown. Absolute beast. Now, Lance Spencer has it in. Gonna throw it in to his wide receiver, number 80. Now, Lance Spencer gonna run this in with the running back. He's gonna get in only two yards. Only two? You know, that's decent numbers. Decent numbers. All I can say, decent. Pretty decent numbers as Lance Spencer gonna pet throw it into his number one co wide receiver Galactic Quinkala. Look at him. Oh, he's 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 showing off. Oh man, I'm scared now. Ooh, <laughs> I mean I'd be scared if I had to go one on one against Galactic Quinkala in the game of football. Oh, nearly picked off. He thought he was wide open. He well he well he thought wrong. What are they going to do? I feel like they're going to run it because of this formation they're in. Yeah, they're running it in. And this time there was no alignment, so of course it gets literally demolished. Third and 11, because why not? Well, Lance Spencer do a beast thing. Lance Spencer. Oh, going to show have no alignment, but who's that flag on? Wow, that's going to be a holding. Oh, damn. They're going to accept it. Going to move back five yards. As Lance Spencer going to throw it in for... Oh, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? No. Hold on a minute. What? I gotta see that replay. The ball was... Alright. So let's look at this. Lance Spencer throws an absolute dot to my man Holt right here. He holds on to it. Did he, did he get two feet in? He has one. Oh, I guess two. The drops the ball. But that's a touchdown? That's a touchdown? What? You have got to be kidding me. Don't pull. It, it counts. It counts. Wow. I have never seen that from Madden. Oh my god. Madden's a broken game. Like, damn. I have never seen that before. I don't know why I'm simulating, guys. He's going to pass the voice on. Damn, I'm fucking retarded. As that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Remember, Woyson's number 15. Just keep that in mind. Quarter end. Look at him. Man, look at that. What an inspiration. Right now. Oh. Oh. Going to pass it into Woyson. Damn. 2,000 pass yards this season for the Cowboys quarterback. Gonna run this in with their running back they showed off, except he won't gain literally nothing. Oh, apparently, according to the Madden thing, this is a Thanksgiving game. Oh, shit. Guess this is a Thanksgiving game, I guess. Alright, I guess that's a good Thanksgiving game. You know, I don't blame them. I watched the Steelers face on the Cowboys in a Thanksgiving game. That's right, now they're going to hand that off. Right now, the, right now they're going to pass it into Royston.
right now. He has it in. He's gonna pass it in. Right now, he has it in. Gonna pass it in for a touchdown. Wow. Look at him go. Weather, Weatherspoon. Your name is Weatherspoon. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so the game is now gonna be tied 7-7. Seven to seven. As now, I feel like something's gonna happen between these two. Because why... Why not? Why not? Sure. Why the hell not? Alright, so right now Lance Spencer is gonna be wide open, gonna pass it into his to number eighty. As I almost fell out of my chair. Ready. Oh, he runs into him, you dumbass. <laughs> Come on, Lance. You're gonna do a no huddle. Come on, Lance. Come on, Lance. Lance. Lance absolutely getting combled, man. It's not a real word, but I had to say what I had to say. Wait a minute. They actually went for it on four. Really? No, I feel like they... Oh, the Steelers are going to have another chance. Never mind. They're garbage. Alright. So, right now... Oh. Oh, damn. That was intercepted. As we are going to watch this part right here. What will happen... Right now, they are going to run this in as there he goes. Oh, this time he couldn't quite exactly find a hole. Right now, going to run this in again. This time doesn't work. Damn, it's 7-7. Seven to seven. Tied game. Anything's on the line. Gonna run this in again. Oh, breaks off the tackle. Damn, the running back absolutely killing it over there. Gonna call an audible. Right now, he's gonna pass it in the loot crown for a touchdown, Steelers. Damn, let's go Luke Crown. Let's see that replay. Boom! Lane Spencer throws that pass to the subscriber Luke Crown. Damn. They are going to go for the extra point. Third and two. We have to watch. The Cowboys, they could do something legendary. Oh no, man, this is the Cowboys. I feel like they're either gonna fuck up or they're gonna fuck up. Right now, oh, breaks off the tackle. Unfortunately, everybody else was in his way. Right now, gonna run this off with their running back. Absolutely clapped. Come on, Daniel Dockery is not the next Ezekiel Elliott, so tr don't try and run with him. Right now, he does have the ball. He's going to pass it in. Is that voice done? That is voice done, unfortunately. That is not enough. Fours and four. They will not even try to attempt to bother going for it. Because they're punting it. So that is going to be a touch back. Alright, so. 
right now. Oh. Oh, they, oh! It's on the one. No, they punted it on the one. Oh my god, they punted it at the one. This could be a safety if everything goes right. Right here, they're running this in. Oh, Daniel Dockery gets the first. Damn. Wow. Right now, gonna chuck it in. All right, that was a wide receiver's fault. Come on. If you would have caught that, that could have been an easy touchdown. Right now, gonna throw it in to number 18 as he gets out of bounds. Right now. Oh, running this in. This time it won't work. And this time one of Pittsburgh's defensive guys gets down. Will they punt it? I feel like they have to. No, they have to, guys. Boom. Punts it in. That is going to be... He's going to get taken down. Point Kala with the 7-yard return from the punt. Oh, 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 we got an unskippable code code scene. That's, I love that so much. Alright, so right now, what will the Steelers do? Oh, they can't. They have to punt it again. The Cowboys, they're going to need a miracle to happen. They're going to, no, they don't need a miracle. They perfectly have enough time. They just need to get their head out their asses and score a touchdown to tie the game. Because right now, running it in. Oh, I thought he broke off the tackle for like a hot second. Right now. Oh, damn. They really try to run it. Daniel Dockery trying to trying to do something. He's trying to be the next Ezekiel Elliott. But you can't be anything like the Ezekiel Elliott guy. Come on. Right now has it in. Going to run it in for a first down. They have two minutes left on the clock in order to make something completely happen. Oh, oh, damn, nearly intercepted. He really tried to go for a screen pass. Glenn Wager, oh, actually passes it in. Number 81. Two minute warning. What will them Dallas Cowboys do? What they are going to do is that they are going to have the ball. Except they ain't going to do nothing about it. Gets taken down. Oh my god. One minute left. Will the Steelers take a dub? They are going for it. Right now. Oh, chucks it down the field. No way. He had it for like a hot minute and then ch dropped it. No. No way. Oh, my. Wow. Wow. They are going to kick it in. Wow. That's base. That's. They're done. They're, they're done. Damn, they keep giving penalties and shit.
Just get it in. Because the Pittsburgh Steelers will take the dub. Look at that. We showed off Royston. He was doing pretty all right. But they, had, but they were no match against them Pittsburgh Steelers. Look at that. That was a pretty nice Thanksgiving game. Let's look at the stats real quick. Lane Spencer didn't even throw for 100 yards, and yet he still won the game with two touchdowns. Damn. <laughs> As right now, this guy, he threw a touchdown and an interception. Rushing, wait, we don't care. Receiving, Royston with 101 yards, and yet they couldn't win it all. Now, Steelers, though. Luke Crown, 32 yards and a touchdown, and Kawa with only six yards to the game. Wow. But anyway, let's go into... Let's go into the next week, shall we? Alright, we are in week 13. And you know what that means. Well, these are the matchups. Um, if you want me to record a matchup, just let me just tell me down below. I don't know which ones to record. Since I recorded every team now. That's fun, right guys? Yeah, that's right. So, I don't know what games to record. But, it looks to be very exciting. But, let's look at week 12. Week 12... Tennessee, they beat Indianapolis. They get their revenge and beat Indianapolis. Wow, turmoil, what garbage. C oh, Cleveland, they beat Cincinnati. I thought Cincinnati beat Cleveland. I was about to say. So that means Cincinnati is officially out of the playoffs. Completely. The Jets, they get, they finally get a W against them New England Patriots. Um, Yo, the Redskins, they just won by a field goal. They won by a field goal against Whaley and Cantors. Was it in overtime? No. Damn. That that's fucking wild. But right now, Houston, Houston, oh my god. Houston beats Baltimore. Wow. Denver beats Tampa. Atlanta beat we already know how this game went. Oklahoma blow oh not Oklahoma. Wow. Wow, Rizon absolutely blows out the Chargers. Wow. The Seattle Seahawks surprises everyone and beats the Miami Dolphins by a field goal. Was it by a touch? Was it in overtime? No, it wasn't. Damn. Alright. Ooh, the Rams. They beat the Cardinals. Wow. The Rams. Kev, he's not giving up yet. He still has fight in him. Was this in overtime? No, it wasn't. But right now, the the Giants still got a dub. Wow. The Giants managed to win in a shootout form against Tommy. Well, not Tommy. Tommy's dead. But hey, it is what it is. Carolina, oh my god. Narrow body in Super Mario Mendes absolutely blows out Salvacano and everyone. Wow. Buffalo, they they destroy Kansas City. Detroit, they beat Jacksonville in their annual Thanksgiving games. We already know how this one goes. And Chicago beats, they beat the Packers. Wow. That's, that's wild. Let's, let's look at these standings. The Ravens, they're still number one in their division. Because, you know, they got less L's. But the, the oh, the Browns, they're trying to catch up for number two. The Steelers, you know, get three these thrones. Anyway, here are the standings right now. The Giants, of course, are number one. It, they just need one more win to officially be in the playoffs. Now, the best teams are all tied. So, it is the Raiders, the Packers, the Dolphins, and the Bills. Wow. Then here with the rest of the standings. Wow. <laughs> but right now, let's look at the each division. The Ravens. They're still on top. They're probably going to be the ones that clutch in the playoffs because they got less L's unless uh, well, unless they fuck up something. The Steelers and Browns, they're try trying to fight for that wild card. The South. The Jaguars, 6-5. and five. They're, 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 They might get dethroned if the Texans and Titans do something. Damn. The East. Oh, the, the Dolphins and Bills. They're fighting for number one. Who will take it? The West. Rizon takes it, takes it all. Well, well, she can't. Well, you know, tag my cat, my dethrone him, but it's a matter of time. Will Rizon win the division again? Probably. <laughs> the North, 
Steven Universe eight or eight and three. The Bears and Lions, they both have seven wins. But the Packers could do something. The Packers, they could always take the division. But the Bears and Lions, they're just still finding fight for that wild card. The Vikings, I don't know what to say to you. You, 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 you still have. They still have a chance. They just need a lot of catching up. They just need a catching up. The South, the Falcons, number one. The Panthers and Saints are just tied. They're trying to dethrone the Falcons, but the Panthers and Saints, they still exist as a team. The East, the Giants, they're gonna of course take the division, but the John, but the Cowboys, still trying to fight for that wild card spot. And now the West, the Cardinals, six and five. The Rams and 49ers are looking to dethrone the the Rams and 49ers. They're trying to look to dethrone the Cardinals. It's all a matter of luck right now. Who are the top five draft picks? All right, who's the top ten? Ten Titans, nine Browns, eight Broncos, seven Jets, six Bucks, five Colts, four Seahawks, three Redskins, two. Wait, no, one. Alright, so top five. Number five, Seahawks. Four, Redskins. Three, Eagles. Number two, Bengals. And number one, the Chargers. Damn. That's wild. But anyway, that's really going to cap it off for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.